Jasmine Solano, I'm finally doing my efficacy series with Fiona Bloom for the Bloom Effect. It's about time. So the biggest highlight in my career right now would probably be the reaction from fans across the U.S. that have never seen a female DJ or a female rapper in person and them reacting to me and saying I'm the first female DJ rapper that they've ever seen live. Those moments, I remember each one of them. And they mean a lot to me. If I could tour with anybody, I would tour with The Roots and I would ask Questlove to be my drummer and I would tell Black Thought that we are gonna perform the song that we just made together and I would tell Malik B that he's gotta come back and rap for a little bit and that would be my ideal situation. Some new artists that I'm feeling right now, I would say Little Dragon, Theophilus London, Dom Kennedy, Mayor Hawthorne is killing it. Um, I like a lot of new producers like Moon Chi and Shlada Bronx. What inspires me? When I watch the synergy between good people, real talent, uh, correct business ethics, and the flow of the universe, <laughs> when I see all those together as they synergize, I get very inspired. I get inspired when things are done right. Let's just say that. But I'm inspired by a lot. That's why I live in New York City, because I'm inspired by new things that I've never seen before in my entire life. If I could do an ad campaign with anyone, I'd probably try to hang out with Michelle Obama and do her exercise campaign. I respect her. I think she's doing her thing. That would be cool. The moment that I knew nothing could stop me was probably age nine performing shoot at my uh, fourth grade, fourth grade talent show and it was in front of 1,500 people, and I had organized all my friends and made up the choreography, and I think that's when I knew that at some point this would manifest into something bigger on a grander scale. As far as food, I don't like my food that spicy, you know? Um, I like when it clears out the sinuses, but I'm not one of those talented people that can eat extremely spicy food. I'm really sorry. I know I wanted to be a little more gangster with it, but I just can't really do that. I don't really shop for a suit, Fiona. Well, I wore a suit that my friend made me to my prom in high school. It was a white suit, like, tailored to me, made it from scratch. That's my only experience with a suit. When I hear the word lens, I think of the camera lens that I'm looking at right now. If I could bring three things to a deserted island, I would have to bring some chocolate, a hammock, and uh, my radio, something that could play music, reggae, preferred. If I could sing and rhyme in any other language, it would be French, because I love listening to French hip hop. If I had a million dollars in cash, I would first uh, buy my condo in Brooklyn for the driveway. I would take care of my parents. I would save some of that. I would give some of it away. And most importantly, I would have a business plan for that money. My favorite social app on my iPhone is my 8mm app where I could shoot and it looks like it was taken on real film from the 70s and 60s. It's really cool. If I could go back in time to another era, I would probably go back to the 60s, 70s where Motown, disco, and the, and the birth birth of hip hop began. If my life was documented in a movie or memoir, it would be called Jazzy Banana Cakes Bakes Bread in Brooklyn. My advice to anyone who is in my shoes is to stay focused, stay positive, realize that there are differences between men and women in the music industry, and make sure that you constantly respect yourself and your place and know your role. This has been an edition of The Bloom Effect with Jasmine Solano. You can visit me at jasminesolano.com. Shout out to Vincent Cone for lending his beautiful lens and camera so that we could bring this to you. Uh, shout out to Fiona Bloom, the ultimate OG of this entire game, filled with wisdom and inspiration constantly. And I will catch you on the flip side. Yes.